Hello everybody, Dr. Rick Wallace here dropping in on you. Hope everybody has had an unbelievable weekend, whether you worked, whether you rest, whether you had some time for enjoyment or like me, I took the time to show love and appreciation to my wife. This was an anniversary of our engagement. We celebrate that as well as our wedding anniversary. So we just took some time to ourselves to really enjoy one another and uh, I definitely enjoyed that time with her. Uh, it's back to the grind now. It's back to the focus. It's back to making things happen. And I'm excited about what I have to share with you here. Look, we're going to move along with this real quickly. Uh, some, someone asked me uh, during a session last week, why is it that some things work for some people, some pe things uh, tend not to work for some people and they were speaking specifically to um, affirmations and how they work and the thing is affirmations are a component of something greater and the whole idea is creating new beliefs because your limiting uh, beliefs will have a massive impact on how you move your subconscious is operating 96 percent of the time uh, you have the conscious. The conscious mind is flowing. It is the creative mind, the imaginative mind, the, 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 the problem-solving mind. It acts off of critical thought. It, 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 it acts off of creativity and imagination. Uh, but the problem is it's only active about 4% of the time. We literally get our results from what our subconscious produces. Our subconscious is literally active about 95 to 96% of the time. So ultimately, at the end of the day, your life is going to be a printout of your subconscious programming. Now, as a general rule, we get the prim primary uh, download of our programming between birth and it actually starts pr prior to birth, uh, maybe six weeks uh, leading up to birth and then into overdrive after birth from uh, early in uh, stimulation, uh, you know, uh, emotional spiritual physical stimulation and then eventually through verbal communication uh but even verbal vibration all this stuff is a part of the process and eventually uh the, the child all the way up to age seven is in a state of theta meaning that basically almost in a state of hypnosis where they are literally absorbing all of the information and data and setting paradigms and ideas and beliefs and uh, modes of response and mechanisms of behavior and everything else and so it dictates who they are how they're going to be how they view the world how they respond and ultimately sets the path that which they will travel at about seven uh, this process of theta program downloading slows down drastically and now it becomes a process of what is most repetitively exposed and that's going to be it but a great deal of what they have up to age seven is going to be a primary factor well what if what you received all the way up to age seven isn't something that's going to produce the things in life you want to produce is there a way to reprogram absolutely there are several ways to program and i'm going to talk about them this is something that i use with my clients consistently uh but we, you have to understand that your brain is should be considered hardware if you're talking about modern technology you have a computer you have a phone you have a tablet um, and these things have hardware they have a hard drive on them that stores things that's uh, uh, capable of processing things but it's not the whether you're talking about an iPhone whether you're talking about a Windows computer whether you're talking about a Mac whether you're talking about a tablet uh, it's not the hardware that's going to determine the performance of the device what is it it's the software it's what's the the what program whether it's updated outdated what program the device is running that's why you consistently get updates on Windows you consistently get updates on iOS you consistently get updates on your apps why because as time changes and the need to do more and accomplish more presents itself there has to be new programming that supports the new requirements well if you're still operating on old beliefs old outdated ideas 
and you're trying to accomplish something that's new and at a higher standard than anything that created that old program and ever experienced. It's great to have parents that look after you, take after you, feed you, clothe you, and do all of this. But if your parents never achieved true wealth, if your parents never ran a business, if your parents never got out of certain traumatic experiences and healed, then the idea that they uploaded the right programming in you for you to do so is highly unlikely. So what does that mean? That means if I want to transcend the past, if I want to overcome behaviors and, and outcomes that are inextricably connected to my past, my parents, my grandparents, my siblings, and, and, and so forth, then I've got to reprogram. I've got to change your thinking. If you want to change your direction, if you want to change your reality, you have to change your thinking. Because this is the thing. Your, this is why uh, willpower doesn't work. Why? Willpower requires a conscious application of effort and focus to accomplish something. The problem is that the way the mind is set up, 96% of the time, it's your subconscious at work, not your conscious. Your consciousness has to be activated and working for willpower to work. When you move into subconscious, you are now in a default setting where you're on autopilot. You're now doing what the subconscious has been programmed to do. Why? Because you're not consciously in control. How easy is it for the subconscious to subvert the conscious? This is how easy it is. Every time you have a thought, uh, that arises out of your subconscious, then your subconscious automatically moves into the vault operation taking control of the consciousness. So your consciousness is disrupted every time you have a subconscious thought. You can be walking home, riding home, driving home. It happens all the time while you're driving. If you're a driver, you're going to understand what I'm about to say. When you're driving home, you, you may be conscious of where you're going. You're, you're at this light. I'm going to make the next left. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. And all of a sudden, a song comes on the radio triggers an old thought, an old memory. Next thing you know, you're traveling down memory lane and you're still driving, but you're no longer consciously in control of the driving. You're now operating and being moved by your subconscious, which has done this so many times. It's on autopilot. It's doing it for you. But guess what's happening? Any of the conscious ideas of things that you wanted to do specifically on the way are now put in the back. That's how you get past the store. I forgot to stop at the store. Why? Because your subconscious was driving and it's driving you home because that's where the program tells it you were going. So, this happens all the day. Look, uh, the average person has about fifty to 70,000 70, thoughts coming out of the subconscious daily. That's how much your subconscious interrupts your conscious thinking, and the subconscious now takes control. A lot of times you think you're operating out of your consciousness, but you're operating out of your subconscious. Well, the problem is, however, your subconscious is, is uh, programmed. See, your brain is the hard, hardware. We talked about that, whether you're talking phone, computer, whatever. Y your brain is the hardware. It's the most powerful supercomputer on the planet, bar none. Your phone can't touch it. Your tablet can't touch it. Your computer, your Mac can't touch it. It can process four billion bits of information per second. Here's the problem. It can only process based off of the programming that it's running. And your subconscious is that programming. What you downloaded into your subconscious is your programming. And the top of your programming is your self-talk, your speech, how you're speaking about things. But your speech is actually coming from where? Your subconscious programming. Why? That has to be a problem. You have to be able to reprogram. The subconscious controls 96% of your behavior. How do you get past that? You don't. You have to reprogram your subconscious. If your subconscious is not producing the uh, results and the outcomes that you desire, the only option you have is to reset and reprogram. So here's something you really need to understand. Most of your original programming came and was downloaded from your first seven years by others. Your primary label givers, your primary influencers, your parents, your teachers, uh, your peers, uh, and, 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 and whatever other leader or authoritative figures were in your life, they set the paradigms. They did the programming. They told you what was going to work, what wasn't going to work. They told you who you were, what you can expect out of life, what you were going to be good at, what you weren't going to be good at, and so many other things. They set the limiting beliefs that you now operated. The problem is the things you want to achieve in life now will not operate and focus uh, will, will not uh, produce the results you desire because they are not in alignment with your subconscious reality. Now, your conscious mind is saying, I can. That's why you can go out and read a book. See, uh, 
most learning processes educate the conscious mind. So you can go out and read a book and your book will tell you, you need to do this, you can change that. And you go, oh, wow, that's an aha moment. That's what I've been doing wrong. But why doesn't it work? Why doesn't it stick? Why? Because 96% of your behavior and your outcomes are not being produced by the conscious mind who just learned, that just learned something. It's the subconscious mind that doesn't operate and learn in the same way. And, and, and you may be asking, well, how does the subconscious mind? See, the conscious mind learns and operates off of thought, creativity, uh, imagination, and what's presented to it. So a new truth is discovered, a new idea is created, and the possibilities are endless. Here's the problem. The subconscious operates off what's been downloaded. And it's habitual. It's habitual thinking. It's habitual responses. It's habitual beliefs. All of these things, anything that's habit, has to be replaced by a different habit and habits are built over time so how does the subconscious mind the subconscious mind learns by the introduction to a new truth the subconscious mind learns by habitual into introduction and and presentation of a new truth the one time is not going to do it the two times is not going you're going to have to constantly expose your mind to it what are the ways to do it first and foremost the way you always the way you did it best when you first started downloading your programs from ages zero to, to seven years old and that's through theta the problem is after seven theta stops the stops being the primary function of the subconscious and then you start to operate in alpha and beta while you're awake most of the time but theta is still present every day when you go to sleep and when you wake up in the morning primarily at night when you're ready to go to sleep you go through a process of going into uh, going out of a state of consciousness and into a state of subconscious eventually you get from alpha beta down into theta which is the hypnosis state where you can literally program your mind to think how you want it to think this is where the use of uh, digital technology is great have you something recorded that represents the new program what you can do what you're capable of uh where you what you're going to accomplish how you how you stand in the world everything positive have that in there when you go through your state of fate or going into delta delta is your sleep state when, where the vibrations are almost non-existent theta is a very low vibrational state when it goes off into theta the brain is now downloading and it's not what makes it so powerful is in theta the brain is downloading and the download does not have to be cleared by the conscious mind of alpha and beta so when you're in consciousness and you're trying to put a new idea in your subconscious it has to go through the filter of your consciousness which now is being made aware constantly of different beliefs what happens is there's no filter in theta it's just constantly being downloaded that's the first way that you can do it the most natural way you can do it the next state is what the next state is repetition what you do the most will have the most emphatic impact on your thing if you constantly tell your subconscious even while you're consciously aware that this is a truth eventually your subconscious cannot ignore it and your subconscious will accept it as truth that's repetitive practice it's constant 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 saying something that you can't see in reality but you are now establishing a new tr a new truth on is sitting up and saying, I don't care what you see, this is the truth. I don't care what you see, this is the truth. And eventually, the subconscious will adapt it as truth and start to process the, the natural processes of subconscious thought through that new truth. Now you produce new results. Finally, find a mechanism of intense learning where you turn on a supercharge. And I show people how to do that uh, when I train them. A lot of it I do without them even knowing I'm doing it. Uh, through neuroassociative conditioning, through uh, uh, neuro linguistic programming, through psycho cybernetics, so, so many different uh, different disciplines that I use incorporated into preparing people to be successful. The thing is, you're never trapped where you are. I just want to get that across. You're never trapped where you are. You always have an opportunity to get out and change it. But it's going to come at changing the su the, the subconscious because the subconscious controls it. Uh, if you're thinking about it from a uh, religious perspective, uh, the Bible tells us that out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. It tells us to guard your hearts and minds, which is the center of your soul. Your subconscious is your heart. Your mind is your conscious. Um, when you get to truly understand how those things work, it was simply saying, look, there are levels to this. You need to guard your heart first and your mind. You need to guard what's deeply rooted 
but you also need to guard what you're constantly engaging on a on a conscious level uh out of the abundance of the heart speaks mean out of the abundance of the subconscious comes your uh natural communication what you say naturally without filter and so all of this stuff can be taken back years and years this is nothing new we just understand the science we put a meticulous uh measurement to it so now we can follow it and understand just how powerful it is and now we know that we have the ability to change it god designed us to be able to evolve into what is necessary to produce what is desired so you go from the conscious state which is wishes and desires imagination creativity to the subconscious state which produces only what has been programmed if you want the wishes and desires and all of the imaginational stuff to come to reality it must align with the subconscious so you must create the subconscious reality that is conducive to producing what the conscious mind is desiring on that note i'm getting ready to get out of here if you want to work with me there's an email in there you can email ask about our platinum package which i think is our best package but we have a number ask about working with me directly if you want to get an idea of what that's like for a very short period of time check out that um rapid uh change breakthrough program which is coming to an end this is the last time we're going to do this uh this is it we're putting it on the shelf for good uh, in the sense of we, I'll always offer the rapid change session, which is one session, but this program is actually three sessions for less than what I charge for one rapid change session. Uh, this offer will never be put on the table again after it closes out. And I'm not going to tell you when it closes out, uh, but one day it won't be there. So you need to get, uh, on it, take advantage of it. It's an opportunity to work with yours truly for three sessions. Uh, that's nowhere near what a platinum session is, which is 52 sessions in the entire year. Uh, but it's a start. It's, it's somewhere that you can get something started. I've had a few sessions with people who have already signed up for this last run. We've had our first session and they've already made some progress. That goes to show you what's possible. Uh, it's designed to take one session and run with it. So you're getting uh, two additional sessions. With that being said, look, I'm going to get off of here. I've got a client to actually get with in a couple of minutes. Uh, I didn't plan on staying this long. Have an unbelievable day, as I always say. Live your life on full so that you die on E. On that note, I'm out of here. I'm in with a little special announcement. For those who have followed me for any stretch of time, you know, outside of the businesses that I run, like Myriad Business Solutions, the Visionetics Institute, Odyssey Media Group, I also do a great deal of work inside of the inner city communities uh, in Houston, Dallas, and other areas. Uh, I'm asking now as we push a fundraiser that you support what the Odyssey Project is doing in the inner cities, uh, especially with programs like Black Men Lead, which is a rite of passage. Uh, initiative and Restoring Ghetto for, Ghetto's Forgotten Daughters, which is a program focused on helping young girls, but boys as well, suffering from childhood sexual abuse, uh, rape, molestation, domestic abuse, uh, absentee fatherhood, and so many other things. Uh, the information will be in the box. Thank you. Jay, people talk Real about talk, it, I ain't throwing shots. All of the elements.